we go. Finally got a bite. Welcome home. Tough first day back in New York. Oh, how'd I know that would happen? Can't come to New York without catching the old slime ball. The old toothy critter. Time to go shallow. I just caught a bass? Really? What? We had it wrong the whole time, guys. These fish are up in a foot of water. We just launched out of Fuzzy Guppies in Waterloo, New York. The canal, when I first started kayak fishing, where I fished the most. There's some good fish here. Dude, that thing crushed it. Think you wanted that frog? Oh my gosh. This canal is really healthy right now. Yeah. Jig is the way to go. That's a good kayak bass. The Yamamoto flapping hog, perfect size. Damn, he's got a crawfish down his throat. That looks like a pre-spawn fish. There's Big Mama. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Alright guys, one more day of fishing, last day in New York before we have to head back to California. You know what, it's been a good couple of weeks here in New York. I feel like we came really at the right time because since I've been home, the temperatures have really, really dropped. Every time we've gone out fishing, we've kind of been able to expand a little bit on the pattern on what these fish are doing and luckily it seems to be they are in complete fall feed mode. Some of these fish we've been catching out here have been so fat, you'd swear they were pre-spawners. We are back at the little canal, found a little gem right here. Fish absolutely stacked in a couple of areas and then some fish to be caught randomly getting them on the big old jig and frog today's video no specific agenda just going out there and uh, swinging the rod as much as we can this will be the last video for the new york series it has been a fun time here in new york let's go out and uh crack a few before we head back to california Got some good news and bad news. The jig trailer we were catching them on, Yamamoto Flappin' Hog, this is one of two left. <laughs> I've had one pack since I've been in New York and they're all but gone. We got a few backups, but man, when you get bit on a certain combo, you just kind of get that confidence with it. Ready, guys? This is only catch of the quality. Is that not a fall bass or what? I mean, these fish are not fat by nature. They're fat by, they're gorging up in the last week. Just chunky. <laughs> and that's what we've been catching on this jig the butter balls and it's a lot of fun it's addicting i've had to mix it up sometimes they'll smack it on the fall especially if i'm around grass this particular area i've seen a ton of them just letting it sit there just letting the jig soak and i've talked about this in the last video but if we picked up like the drop shot or like the uh the ned rig well there are like hundreds of six to eight inch bass here and We'd just be catching those all day. Maybe every so often get a good one, but the beauty of this jig and this bait lately has been the ability to weed out all those dinks and just get the big fat ones biting. There you go. Dude. Like, it's probably another two and a half, three pounder, but man, they just... They double you over like no other. Same thing. Fat fish. Belly shirt. Oh man, I hope they're biting the other trailer. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make this work as long as I can. You know what, and then just for the heck of it, let's...
So this is proving my point exactly. As soon as you switch to the drop shot, look what we get. A drop shot kind of fish. Again, not saying that we can't catch the big ones on the drop shot, but man, there are just so many little ones down there. Like you're gonna have to weed through a lot of fish to get your bigger bites. Well, moving spots, that spot definitely has quality fish. Yesterday we really got on them later in the day. Maybe it's more of a later in the day kind of bite. So we're gonna be moving on. Man, it's cloudy, it's dark. Looks like we're about to get dumped on. Maybe that'll help the bite too. Do not worry guys. I heard you, I heard you. I guess we're saying, dude, you've got overcast skies, you got some calm water, some feeding fish. You need to throw the frog. I heard you. sound like a fish blowing up on it, right? It sounded like I spooked a carp. A big fish, whatever it was. It's probably a carp. Carp on a frog, that would be a first. Oh God, how was the frog bait not on? there yesterday too. It's a pretty good one. <laughs> pretty nice one. Hit it on the fall. I'm telling you this canal reminds me of the Delta. This year it's really healthy. The grass is good. We beat these areas up yesterday but they're still here and it reminds me of the Delta because there's so many places where these fish can hide you know. You're gonna fish over a ton of fish here but there's just so many that you'll probably run into a few. Another healthy fish. On the jig. Stinking Yamamoto trailer. Switch it over. I don't know. What do you guys think? Here's what I've got. And this is just the stuff that I had at home. You know, I didn't have time to order stuff for today. Like, what would you guys go with for a jig trailer? Like, that's the one that's been working. Flappin' Hog, the Yum Bad Mama. But oh, we have also got the uh, Craw Fatty, but we only have that in Okeechobee Craw, so we throw that away. And then we got the D-Bomb. I mean, I, I think that one looks the most similar, but it has a little bit of green and purple flake in it. I don't know if that'll make a difference or not. You know, if they're hitting it on the fall, it shouldn't matter too much. Pretty dang close. Oh. Okay, that was weird. That was weird. Dang it, he came off. Okay, two things there. One, if you didn't know what I was doing, I was trying to smack a bee away with my rod. And two, apparently, we're we're still good with a little yum bad mama trailer and the action we have to impart is like a wand jig bite's still on look at all the bait in front of us you can see all the bait flicking up there's so much life back here it's just like a a buffet for whoever wants it You see that? Freaking goldfish. They're koi, whatever you want to call it. It's like 100% part of the forage in here. It's people's release pets. I've seen schools of hundreds of them in here. Bet you the red chatterbait would do pretty good here in the spring. Got her! Freckles. The spots on that one, guys. Another chunk. I 
need to maybe let it sit there more. Hmm. Little guy. Man, you'd think the frog would be killer, but I haven't had a single bite on the frog. Everything's been jig. Alrighty guys, well we made our way down river and uh, it wasn't really happening as much as I thought it would. We caught a couple of nice ones, but frog bite is officially dead I think. So we're back at our, our spot where they're loaded up. Hopefully they're biting a little bit better now. Yeah, this will probably be the last spot of the day, last spot of the trip. Maybe down, down the way a little bit more we'll fish the bridges, but might as well use our last flapping hog trailer at this point. Though I do think the uh, bad mama is just, just as good. Good news is threading this whole thing on has allowed this trailer to last at least a few fish for me. I've gone through one pack officially now. We've caught a bunch on this combo. Let's just hope they're biting a little bit better than they were this morning. Now, where you at, big girls? Coming up to the sweet spot. <laughs> I'll just try to eat my line. Here's the cast right here. So a bunch of them sit, like quality ones, sitting right there. I don't know why either. There's no log there. It's just kind of like a bear spot. That's where I caught the two off this morning. It's a little strange. Why aren't you guys biting? Man, I hate to do it, but... No bites on the jig, really? You make me drop shot, you guys? Yeah, all right, well, mix it up. Confirming our suspicion, not even suspicion, our just the facts. We can catch fish on the drop shot, just probably gonna be little. <sighs> oh. Bass came right out from under that mat. I would have caught you on a frog had I known you were under there. I think it's right there. We'll come back later for you. That's the pickerel. Yeah, pickerel. They're suspended. They're really just sitting here waiting. Got my jig right by his head. <laughs> Fish are acting funky. I'm not seeing any big ones either. I'm seeing tons of little ones. Where the big girls go? There you go. Dang. There are a couple of big ones right there. Shoot. Alright. Two big ones right there. Those are two really big ones. There we go. God. I think they stopped eating the jig because I'm I've made casts and then rolled over the spot they're there like I found the bigger fish they're here now they were over there yesterday now they're here but they're not eating the jig we also don't have our current that we need either Ooh, it's a good one. I guess we do need to go drop shot now. Our jig bite is gone. And I definitely found the big ones. stinker. All right, well, at least we got a, a good bite on the drop shot. Come on now. It's crazy. This bite has like literally died. <laughs> I'm seeing them. They're still around. They're just not biting. A couple of bonus frog fish for the road would be greatly appreciated.
found a fish there. It's a booyah pad crasher on the pads. What more do you guys want from me? Just make enough casts with the frog, you're gonna trick one. Dude, he got it too. Got it good. It's been a lot tougher day today, guys. But we got one on the frog. And on that note, I think we're gonna we're gonna call it a day and I'll see you guys back in the car. That's a wrap. That is gonna do it for the New York fishing videos or series. I'm gonna pack up, store this stuff away. Good old Slayer 10, love this boat, especially when I'm home in New York. And like I said, it is home, so I will definitely be back. Even though this time of year is generally hard, we actually uh, stumbled across a little something in this cooler weather. It was nice to fish some cooler weather. Who knows what it'll be like in California, but I'm assuming it'll be hot. But as always, thank you guys for watching, for coming along. Hope you guys enjoyed this New York series, a little change of pace. Anyways, I will see you guys back in California. I'm not even sure where. Delta, Clear Lake, who knows? See you in the next one.